video we're going to talk about the admin footer text filter hook. So if you look at codex we can see that this hook is defined by apply filters function uh, which basically filters the thank you text displayed in the admin footer. Okay, So if you go to admin and um, let me comment out my code. Yeah, as you can see, this is the thank you text. Thank you for creating with WordPress. You can go ahead and modify this text or completely change this text using the admin footer text hook uh, because it allows us to give us the access of the text variable uh, as a parameter, which is the content that will be printed. Okay. Uh, so I'll show you in a moment. It'll be very clear how this all works. You can go ahead and attach your custom function to this hook using add filter function, and then you'll be able to modify the content that is displayed over here uh, using the text variable passed as a parameter in your custom function. Now this is defined in admin .php. So if you go into admin .php, which is in WP admin directory, as you can see here. And if you scroll down where it says um, P tag, footer left, align left, which is basically, if you do inspect element here, this is the P tag, footer left, align left, yeah? This is what it is. And inside of this, you have the text that's being displayed over here, okay? So, um, you can see that this is the apply filter, okay, and it will return the value of text, okay. Now, currently, the value of the text is this, which is basically thank you for creating with WordPress, okay, and it's just translating that and using sprintf uh, function over here to go ahead and um, change this value to this value. Okay, so basically linked to this for security reasons, we're using the sprintf function. Okay, and um, this filters thank you text displayed in the admin footer. So currently the text is equal to thank you for creating with WordPress, which is what you see over here. But uh, if you come over here, it says apply filter, and uh, this is the name of the hook, admin footer text. And it is passing the value of the text into the span tag which is a span tag here for the thank you. So currently the value of text is thank you for creating with WordPress, but you can change it using your custom function. And then whatever value is changed or modified will be returned by this function. And because we are echoing out this function, the return value will be echoed. So when it is returned, it will be span ID this and whatever the content inside of this, uh, in case if we have modified, it will be displayed over here. Okay. Now, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, get this in action. Okay, so if you go to uh, your functions.php of your theme or for your plugin, you can go ahead and define this function, which is uh, function ihs uh, function ihs filter footer text. Uh, so this is my custom function that I'm hooking onto this hook admin footer text. Uh, using my add filter function, okay, uh, which is the same hook which is defined in the admin footer.php. Yeah, let me increase the font, okay. And as you can see, that inside of this function, I have the text variable available, which is this text. Yeah, the content that will be printed, and uh, I'm going ahead and adding. Uh, concatenating whatever is already there uh, in form of content with my custom content this is my custom footer text so what will happen is that currently the value of text is thank you for creating with WordPress and over here uh, this text this string will be added to the existing string uh, so both will be printed and we are returning the value of the text okay uh, with this uh, function so this function is going to return the value of text which is the new text uh, thank you for what thank you for um, creating with wordpress uh, this is my custom footer text this is the value which will be returned by this function it will be given to this hook uh, and will be available over here and that will be a code so 
if we go ahead and check refresh our page onto our admin we can see sure enough we've got this this is my custom footer text and if we do an inspect element we can see that um, we have this pan tag and after that we have this appended okay we can also change the value completely so in case if you don't want the thank you for creating with wordpress we can go ahead and uh, change the value completely by by saying that text is equal to this rather than modifying the content yeah so if we do that refresh the page we can see sure enough that is that content a uh, previous content was gone is gone and uh, we've got a new uh, text replaced yep so that's basically the job of this uh, hook admin footer text is to filter the thank you text displayed in the admin uh, admin footer okay if you have any questions you can leave the comment you can watch the next video now thank you bye bye